Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. So yesterday I shared with you a video of how to put together these little lovebirds that were included in the Spellbinders December 2022 card kit. And today we're gonna take some of those and put together some cards. So I'm starting out here with one of the card bases that was included in the card kit and I've taken some of the gray patterned paper and trimmed that down to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So there's just a smidgen of a white border around that showing through on the front. I'm gonna take one of my die cuts already put together, add some art glitter glue to the back of that. And then I'm gonna place that down on top of the panel here somewhat in the middle, just slightly below middle. Now I knew that I wanted to use one of the chipboard stickers uh, that says this. And then I grabbed this uh, pack of puppy stickers. I used quite a bit of these for my cards this time around. And I'm trying out some different sentiments and some different placements. I love when there is a clear background behind those. It makes it a lot easier to sort of get an idea of how things will look on your card. So I've gone there and placed down that um, chipboard sticker. And then I finally decided to go with uh, one of the sentiments that reads the absolute best. So I'm gonna place that down as well underneath that branch sort of right in the middle of the leaf and the tail there. For my inside panel, which is made out of my usual Nina paper, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment, it's always better when we are together. I used my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink for that. I'm gonna grab my ATG gun and I'll place that here on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number one. So here for card number two, I once again grabbed one of the cards that was included in the card kit and I've trimmed down this pink and white pattern paper to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Again, just leaving that little border around the outside there of the white peeking through. I've grabbed another set of these lovebirds and I did make quite a few of these. What I did was just cut a bunch of everything out in all the different colors and then I mixed and matched to get some combinations that I really liked. So this time we are going to turn the card base horizontal and I'm gonna have this branch peeking off of the left hand side there. I've grabbed another one of the chipboard stickers. This reads just the greatest. And I'm gonna place that off to the right hand side to kind of balance things out a bit. I've got my inside panel here. Stamping out the sentiment, you're a whole lot of lovely, yes you. And for that I use Lan Fawn Deep Sea Ink to match the blue from that chipboard sticker. I've added some ATG, placed that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number two. So here for my final card, I'm keeping things super simple. I have created a slimline card base from some Nina Solar White cardstock. Uh, this measures eight and a half by three and a half inches. And I'm gonna stamp directly on the card front here. You make my heart sing. I'm using that Lawn Fawn Deep Sea Ink. For the inside panel, I've again used my Nina paper. Uh, this panel is trimmed to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, life is a beautiful thing with you in it. Now I've just got to get my birds into place. So I am just sort of moving that around. I want to have that sentiment again placed in between the leaf and the little tail there on either side. I'm going to go ahead here and add some of my art glitter glue to the back. Now when I'm adding this glue, um, this small nozzle that I have 
it really, really helps, especially on these smaller pieces. Um, but I am pressing that incredibly lightly, just lots of little dots of glue. I'm gonna very carefully line that up around my sentiment, make sure it's straight, and then press it into place. Once again, I'll grab my inside panel. I'm gonna add some ATG to the back of that. Because this is a larger piece, I'm gonna do two rows of that, top and bottom, to make sure it stays down nice and tight. Give that a good crease along the back. And that will complete card number three. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.